Nabu, the Mesopotamian patron god of literacy, the rational arts, scribes and wisdom. The Akkadian Nabu means to announce, prophesize, and the variants of Nabu in other languages all mean prophet. Ak, Aki, a plural form appearing to man as God. The Babylonians and Assyrians worshipped Nabu. Nabu was previously known as Nisaba in the Sumerian pantheon, who then gained influence as the male Nabu among the Babylonians in the first millennium BC, when he was identified as a son of Marduk. If Enlil is the father of Marduk, then Nabu is the grandson of Enlil. Nabu was worshipped in Babylon's sister city, Borsepa, where his statue was taken to Babylon each new year to pay respects to his father. Nabu's symbols included a stylus resting on a tablet, as well as a simple wedge shape. King Nabonidus, whose name references Nabu, had a royal scepter topped with Nabu's wedge. Clay tablets with a special calligraphic skill were used as offerings at Nabu's temple. So here we can see that the written word is resonating some sort of power to the gods. As mentioned, Nabu was the patron god of scribes, literacy and wisdom. He was also the inventor of writing a divine scribe, the patron god of rational arts, science, magic, and a god of vegetation, the deadly and psychedelic variety. As the god of writing, Nabu inscribed the fates assigned to men and he was associated with the scribe god Ninurta. As an oracle, he was associated with the Mesopotamian moon god Sin, otherwise known as Enzu. Nabu wore a horned cap and stood with his hands clasped in the ancient gesture of priesthood. He rode on a winged dragon, known as Sirush, that originally belonged to his father, Marduk. That would be Mushusu, the mythical mace and ultimate weapon of the Anunnaki, also known as Sha'ur, otherwise known as Anzu, both of which contain the will of Enlil. Keep your eye on the ball. In Babylonian astrology, Nabu was identified with the planet Mercury, because Mercury is a poison, isn't it? 
Nabu was continuously worshipped until the second century, when cuneiform became a lost art. Paper is easier to burn. Easier to burn. In Egypt, offerings to Apep were written on paper and then burnt, but I believe burning it makes it an offer to the burning god. In Sumeria, that would be Nogal and Enlil. Outside of Mesopotamia, Nabu's cult spread to ancient Egypt, and Nabu is thought to be one of five non-Egyptian deities worshipped in Elephantine. In the Bible, Nabu is mentioned as Nebu, in Isaiah 46.1, Babylon's Idols. Bell crouches, Nebu cowers, their idols weigh down beasts and cattle. The images you carry are burdensome, a load to the weary animal. The gods cower. They crouch together, unable to relieve the burden, but they themselves go into captivity. The gods do not stand proudly. And in Jeremiah 48.1, the judgment on Moab, this is what the Lord of Hosts says, Woe to Nebu, for it will be devastated. Ke'irathaim will be captured and disgraced. The fortress will be shattered and dismantled. There is no longer praise for Moab. In Heshbon, they devise evil against her. Come, let us cut her off from nationhood. You too, O people of mad men, will be silenced. The sword is a tool for the angel of death. In Hellenistic times, Nabu was sometimes identified with the Greek Apollo as a giver of prophecies, a connection to Phaethon and Phobos, the lion-faced god. The angel of death is also a prophet. Nebu is a divine messenger, associated with the planet Mercury, and of course, Nabu was linked to the Greek Hermes, the Roman Mercury, and the Egyptian god, Tehut. So here again, the male Nabu 
overtook the female role of Nisaba, similar to the Sumerian female Apsu, becoming the male Abzu. And there is also Anu, who became his own female self, a dual role. Anat became Anatu, all of which happened in Akkadian times. The fact that Nabu's name means prophet proves he is a messenger of the Lord, the Malak. If so, his new self has defeated the old, as the Lord of Hosts was used against him. The Lord of Hosts is now in the role of Nabu, the Malak, the Divine Messenger, the Prophet. Nabu may be a permutation of the name Abzu, we may be observing the same god. Abzu is the entrance, and Nabu is the exit, the gatekeepers. The angel of the Lord picks up where they left off. Aki, as in Malachi, or Anunnaki, is a plural form. The mother of Marduk is Sarpanet, which appears to relate to the Zabaniya, whose number is 19, but here the number 19 represents the seven. Here, Ishtar is described as the seven gods, here named Zabanitum as the mother of Marduk. The mythical mace Sha'ur also goes by the name, the heavenly Mitum mace. The divine marriage between Sarpanet and Marduk was celebrated during the great Akitu, or Akitum, ritual at the new year, which is the last moon of March. Sumerian, Akiti Sikinku, Akiti Sononum, Barley Sowing, or Head of Year, which was a spring festival in ancient Mesopotamia. Mamu Anzu is mentioned as the son of the goddess of beer. Fermentation is fungus on barley, a sort of infection. So Ak means appearing to man as god. Itu is the month coming forth, but another possibility is identifying the Akkadian Lil Itu as a loan from Sumerian, Lil meaning air. Between heaven and earth, they recognized a substance which they called Lil, the approximate meaning of which is wind, air, breath spirit. Its most significant characteristics seem to be movement and expansion, and it, therefore, corresponds roughly to our atmosphere, the realm in which Mushusu spores. Enlil is the Mesopotamian god of the atmosphere, 
and a member of the Triad of Gods, completed by Anu, the Sumerian An, and Iyar, Enki. Enlil meant Lord Wind, both the hurricane and the gentle winds of spring were thought of as his breath issuing from his mouth, and eventually as his word or command, a messenger. To end on Naboo, the rational arts refers to science, as does the term Nephilim, and literacy, well. The Nephilim were teachers of false doctrines. By definition, they are the Malak. As mentioned, Naboo was worshipped until 200 AD, but the cult of Enlil was worshipped until around 300 AD. Naboo was riding the dragon's back, but his role and festival honour Enlil. The lion-faced god is a disease, Leon Tiasi. Truth is stranger than fiction. Please share, like, and comment to support the channel for more ancient mysteries.